never a phone call where she said, I think I have ALS. Because it started with a remote possibility and it developed so slowly. All along I knew the same thing she knew, that if it spread from her left hand or left arm, it was probably ALS. She chose journalism as a career primarily because it was portable. She could practice it overseas, she could practice it at home. Um, so she, that's why she decided to go to graduate school at the University of Florida and, and get a, a master's degree in journalism. Susan had volunteered to be an ambas ambassador of sorts for the international students who were arriving to study journalism at the University of Florida. And um, one of them was George Sicolides, who had arrived from Cyprus, um, and she helped orient him to, to the campus and to town. And during orientation week, if I recall well, uh, we started having uh, trouble in, uh, on campus. We had uh, this guy, a serial killer. Really, Gainesville's darkest hour it has to be in history. The student murders Danny Rawling. Um, brought us together, me, Susan, and George, in you know an effort to get out of town. We we came together to Palm Beach and we formed this friendship that 20 years later proved key to Susan discovering her biological roots in Cyprus. She had, this, had learned of her, her biological father's existence and that he was a Cypriot. And it just so happened that George was a good friend from, from graduate school. And yeah, what are the chances? Who would have told me that uh, after 20 years I would get a phone call from a very good friend of mine uh, that I met in Gainesville and we lost contact. Uh, and we'll end up uh, now in this situation uh, uh, which is uh, fascinating but at the same time uh, sad. Uh, but to me what's uh, important uh, is that uh, if you can um, be able to help somebody, uh, you should do it. I'm more amazed than surprised by the discipline that it took for her to sit and tap out that book, literally letter by letter, with her right thumb. Susan's book is so life-affirming, and I think the only thing that could possibly be more life-affirming than the experience of reading the book is the experience of living through the book. She and Susan have been best friends since middle school. and. The kids used to comment. They could. They always knew when mommy was on the phone with Nancy, because she'd be just cackling. And then she didn't ordinarily cackle. Just only when she was on the phone with Nancy. But just having her come and um, be close with us, it's, it's been. It's meant the world. You know, we should all be so lucky to have a friend like her. So she said to me one day when I when I came back to the house, um, and she was sitting on the porch writing on her iPhone, she said, she's actually said to me, I'm so happy at the way things turned out. Imagine if I were stuck here without a book to write. Mm -hmm.